All right, what's going on, man? We're going to dive right into it. This is the weekly mock-up. It is officially January 22nd. It's 12, 21 in the morning. And let's see what's going on. So I had just did a Zoom and forgot to press record. So I literally just went through a mock all this up. But I'm going to redo it for y'all. That's how we call it. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of brief, but first thing we're going to do, go to the weekly chart. Pull out our FIB, as you can see, the DXY, which is U.S. dollar index, has been in a strong buy. And now we got a little retest right here. I'm going to pull out my FIB, start at the top, bring it down to the bottom, like so. I like to color coordinate my charts. So what I like to call the golden zone between the 61.8, 50% level. Boom, drop that there. I like to make them green. All right, that's all I need to see on the weekend. Drop down to my daily. Now I'm trying to find key levels of support and resistance in the market. Boom, here's the one right here. I like them a bit green, I mean blue. Oh, I got another one on the bottom side. And this is straight price action. I am part an indicator. I do have indicators that I use just for confluence and confirmation. But price action is always king. And we got one right here, too. We got a price right here for the American Wix right there. And Wix tail stores. All right, we just say one right here, too. And these are part places in the market where you can see price react. So price never broke above here. So that's why I'm going to make this a key level. Price never broke above there. See, we got a lot of noise right here. We look to the left. There's a whole lot of noise right here in the market. So it's another key level. And then what you notice is, say right here, this is resistance right here, but in the support on this side. All right, so right now, we we'll drop down to the one hour. Oh, no, I'll skip the four hour. Four hours, we see we got the double top sale. Now, if we look at the one hour, we we'll look like it was in the back, pull it back. Now, we're about to take off. Um, and what you'll notice with these Fibonacci levels, it's like the bigger picture of what you see on the weekly is it's going to keep playing out on the smaller time frames. Like you start the weekly and go down to the daily, the four hour, two hour, all the way down to the one minute, you'll start to see. I right, see the what we got here. So you see our price kind of got right here to this sweet spot. Now the buy is taking over now. You see right now live the DXY getting bullish. And I'm actually in a gold sale as we speak. But look on the 15-minute chart. Boom, double bottom. Inverted head and shoulder. Boom, take on. I know we in the money on this trade. I'm going to check that in a few. I'm going to probably wait till 1 o'clock and check that. But, yeah, so as of right now, live, I got a bullish sediment on the DXY. I can definitely see price buying up that way. 
or at least right here. I'm eleven grand. I'm gonna make this All right, let's go look at gold. Oh, baby. Yes, yes, son. And look, I just literally just marked this up on my last Zoom I did. I just didn't record it. But yeah, it's my buy some gold sales. I ain't even gonna redo all that. I'm just gonna walk through what I did. All right, so you can see we got the green bar. This is my sweet spot on the weekly chart right here. So that's why I ultimately see the price of gold selling to is it come and get us a test right here. You see, we created the all time high up here that created this key level. We got this key level right here. Okay, if I was to bring this all the way over, you can see the price come up here and wick. We get wicks right here, wicks. It broke through then wick down here, but then right here, wicks, wicks. So that's another key level. And I'm gonna drop down to my four hour. And you see the same thing. Like I say, it's just the higher time frames show you the overall picture. Then the smaller time frames just to be smaller breakdowns of what you see on the higher time frame. So when we go to the four hour, you see them. Wicks, wicks, wicks. Sell. So, okay, let me see exactly what my entry and take profit in all of this. So we're going to use the short position. Go to my coordinates. Entry is 25.05. Take profit is 2013.25. And I dropped this in my Discord group too. Right now, until the end of this month, you got a chance to plug in, type in with me. Free of charge, free Discord group. You know, I'm trying to build a community up. And my stop loss is 2028.24. All right, boom. I'm going to drop down to the hour. This is my current trade. I'm in live. And as you can see, I have a 3.7 risk to reward ratio, which meaning I'm willing to gain, I'm going to gain three times more than I would lose, 3.7 times more than when I would risk on this trade. And that's a good ratio. Every trade you want, you want to have a, me personally, I like a three to one, a better ratio on the trade because it's that way with a tighter stop loss. So that way if I lose, I can lose five trades in a row and then my one trade make up for them trades that I lost, if that makes sense. But yeah, so this is my current trade right now. My overall bias for gold is seeing it coming down here. We're going to see either come here, it's either definitely going to come down here or right here. Uh, let me put up. And another thing I like to use is moving averages, exponential moving averages to be specific. But right now, we're just going to focus on the 200. And this is like a dynamic support and resistance. And you see, price definitely um, is going to come down and get at a good test. And look, look how price respected. And it's on the one hour chart. Just so you can get a visual of the power of the 200 EMA. And I don't even pull out the indicators until. I done got my price action together. Before I look at any fundamental news, 
before I do anything, I mark my chart up so I can see my bias, then compare my bias to the fundamentals, the sediments, and anything else, you know what I'm saying, any outside factor. But I always build my relationship with the market first. And that worked for me, man, you know what I'm saying? So back to the 200 EMA. All right, so let me zoom out. All right, so you see when price either break below, it breaks. It's a strong move. Oh, matter of fact, hold on. I got to pull out the six EMA too. That's part of the strategy. All right, so the EMA is your average. So the 200 EMA is the average of 200 candles. So this white line is the average of 200 of these candles. So one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth is the average 200. So as you can see, when price break above it, it's normally a breakout. Or like price will come rejected, breakout. Reject, look, come up, reject, strong sell. Look what's going on right now. Price Boom. went up here, rejected. Sellers took over, wick came up. Rejected it, look, came up, tested it, sell, boom, came back up, bought up, rejected it. Now we're in another sale. And I see the sellers taking over the market based on what I've seen on the higher time frame of the weekly chart. Look how the weekly candle closed. And I see sellers um, taking over the market right now. All right, so let's drop down to 15 minutes. And this is another thing. When these EMAs cross like this, that's a strong sign of a trend chain. I look right here. The yellow line crossed over that white line. Nice buy. Actually, you could roll that all the way up here. Pause. You see price came down, rejected, rejected, respected, boom, rejected. Now it's crossing over. When it's on the sales side, it's called the death cross. When it's on the buy side, it's called a golden cross. Just in case you hear that or see that when you're reading uh, certain news articles and whatnot. And I get into how I analyze fundamentally in another video. I'm going to drop the link to the Discord. And definitely uh, tap in, click the link, tap in if you're not already. Because at the end of the month, that link would be deactivated. But look, right here, we got a cross on the downside. Look, look how much price sold down to. And let's just say for right here, let's just say you got in on this candle down here. Sheesh, that's four to 300 pips. Four to three hundred pips. But yeah, uh, let's move on to US thirty. And I ain't gonna lie, I used to be scared of US thirty. But now I'm on her ass. So I ain't gonna undo it. All right, so same thing with start the weekly. And as you know, US 30 is in all time high levels. And for those of you who don't know, US 30 is the Dow Jones. And I'm gonna give you a hack that I learned this week. And I'm not a gatekeeper in information, so I learned it. So I'm gonna share it to you. CNBC.com is a viable resource when it comes to US 30. And I've been comparing this to the market. Oh, it's not going to show right now. Uh, you got to tune into my next video doing New York session. I started about the market not open right now. It's not going to work. So I'll just show you this in the morning. So tune in tomorrow. Tune in the morning. Uh, but 
Boom. Went to the weekly, hit wild. A tracement spot. Sweet spot right here on the weekly. Same thing goes to the dating. Found our key levels. But the thing is with uh US 30, we in all time high levels. So I use the Fibonacci extension tool. And I'll go over that in another video. But for time's sake, when you're in uncharted territory, this can show you other key levels that you can potentially have is take profits and basically will become support and resistance later on once price gets up here. Long story short. Because right now we have no resistance because we at the all-time high, so there's no resistance level. So we have to wait till later in the week for it to create a new resistance if price continue to drop or go higher. Oh, shit. All right, so we're going to drop down to the four hour. Same thing, like um, key support level. This is our Fibonacci. This, I mean, this is our um, golden zone right here. So ultimately, see US 30 pulling back. Because it's been so much bullish momentum, doing a small pullback to right here, and then taking off and creating new high highs. This is my bias in US 30 right now. As you can see, the sellers are starting to creep in and take the market over. So that, uh, yeah, see the like, price can ultimately add this move up, it'll align somewhere right up in here. And this is video proof. It's 1238 on 122. I'm calling this shit. This move average is going to be the move up here, and they're going to line right up in this area somewhere. So, yeah, that's my bias on US 30, man. I hope y'all found this information valuable. I don't want to be too long, and I'm going to drop another video on. I mean, New York session, open the bell, 915, tap in, man. That's a big D2I effect shit, man. Y'all tap in.